Hey guys, welcome back. Happy Halloween. There hasn't been a blue moon, full moon on a Halloween since 1944. There's about 20 minutes left in the day before Halloween is over and I actually wanted to jump on. So this is being recorded on the actual Halloween day, just so you know, although you may be watching it November 1st or another day. Um, sorry I didn't get on sooner. I have been not feeling well the past couple days, so feeling good. It's not COVID or anything like that, but I wanted to do this unboxing of this uh, Tim Burton's Nighttime Before Christmas, but we're going to have to do that in another video because I'm actually going to use this deck. It was my intention to use this today on Halloween, and so I wanted to do a tarot reading for you guys on Halloween. I think we will just, I don't know if I should do a general reading, if I should do a love reading. I'm going to let the cards fall where they may. We'll just do a general for the general. If it becomes more love, it'll be apparent because you'll have more cups or whatever is, uh, I don't know what this one this might have different symbolism, but I saw a review of this deck and I just loved it, so I had to get it. And I, who doesn't love the nighttime or nightmare before Christmas? You know, it's such a great Tim Burton cartoon slash movie. So these are new cards, so I'm just gonna give them a really good shuffle. I also have another deck which was introduced to me by one of my best friends, which I think I'm going to use as like a clarification. It's not an oracle deck, it's actually a tarot deck. So I might use it as an oracle deck if I need clarification on anything. So we'll just do a general reading here. I think I will do, let's see, setting the intention. I will do so for whoever's watching this I'm going to do for a six card spread with the intention of this now listen up the six cards can be general so it can be a general overall reading you can also, if you have the intention that you are looking for a love reading, we'll do the first two cards on this side for your person and the first two cards on this side for you yourself for the heart, I'm sorry, for the head, what's going on in the relationship in their head towards you, towards them. In the middle, one card so it'll be two, four, f wait, let me think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, no, that won't work. Okay, so, sorry. The one card on this side would be for their heart or their head. And the one card would be for how you feel about it in your head, the relationship. The one in the middle will be the outcome. The one on the bottom will be what is going on in their heart in the relationship. And on the right would be your heart. And then the middle will be the outcome. But if you're not looking for a love reading and you're just looking for an overall general reading, we'll read the cards that way too. So I will read the cards in both ways. I'm going to do a general first, and then I will give the love reading too. We'll just see what comes out. Kind of a twist, but this is such a magical day because, oh my gosh, when is there ever a blue moon, full moon on a Halloween night, right? So let's get to it. Alrighty, they're jumping out. Woo. Okay, I'm gonna take oh, there's two. Okay. Well, two popped out here and two on this side. So I'm gonna do two for the heart. Or two I keep saying the heart. Why do I keep saying the heart? Two for the head for you. So this may be more than six because it's just jumping out that way. I can't control it, you know. It is what it is. 
All right, oh my goodness. So that's your outcome for your head. It's a lot. I normally don't take these many cards, but we're just gonna go with it tonight. Just gonna go with the flow. This is for Okay, it's your heart. Okay, wow, these really just jumped out in clusters. I can't even tell you why. That like never happens. Not not that much. I'm trying to get you to swivel a little here. Hold on a sec. Mm -hmm. Alright, and then I'm just moving, moving the camera adjustment. Okay, so hopefully you can see the cards there. All right, you know what? And I changed my mind. We're going to do the love reading first. All right, so what's in your person's head? Ooh, we have in reversal. The Hierophants and Three of Presents. Hmm. So that's in their head. Now, I'm wondering if the presents is the cups. So I don't know what this. This is a new deck for me. So three of presents says whether you're making presents for Sandy Claus to hand out on Christmas Eve or working on something a little more mundane, three of presents indicates it's time to work with others to accomplish your objective. Now that would be upright, but it's reversed. So in the reverse, the three of presents represents an imbalance within a professional or financial collaboration. If you're working with others on a project, make sure everyone's doing their part. Disaster strikes when things become in inequitable. Sorry, prioritizing teamwork will get you where you want to go. And the Hierophant, which is just you know your higher divination vibe, which is also reversed. So, are you feeling rebellious and dissatisfied with the status quo? It might be time to turn your back on tradition and go your own way. Trust yourself. So it sounds like they're a little bit maybe confused in their head here, your person. Maybe they're feeling imbalanced in their career and they're working on something and just, you know, doing it all. Um... Maybe they feel like they're doing it all in this relationship. Maybe they feel like there's an, an unequal or, you know, not a balanced partnership here. Maybe they feel like they're putting all the work into it and you're not. Um, so feeling a little rebellious and dissatisfied with the relationship right now. Or if you're single and this is just maybe someone you're dating, maybe they're just not really in their head towards the relationship because they're in their head with their career and feeling dissatisfied in their career so they're not maybe giving their all um to you in the relationship also all right um interesting i'm just curious if the presents are the cups or not so I can see. Mm -hmm. I don't know what let's say. Needles are air, okay. Candles are fire, potions are water, and presents are earth. Okay, so earth would be like money, candles fire. So if there's potions, that's more like love. All right, so in your head, you have... A lot of major arcana going on here the hangman and the star so you're really not doing anything maybe you're just waiting on your person here is what I'm getting um, kind of just waiting it out which sounds like it might be a good idea especially if this person is feeling an imbalance um, maybe you're manifesting your wishes which is a perfect thing to be doing today um, or actually not to be doing today, but you actually want to be manifesting your wishes on the new moon. You want to be seeing your wishes that you, um, manifested 
during the new moon. They should be coming to fruition actually on a full moon. So I digress. Um, the full moon is actually when you should be letting go. So maybe you, you know, this Santa is like hanging on to dear life. If you see that. And it looks like, like a wand, a strand of hair. So, especially in this full moon, I want to say, you know, it looks like maybe you just need to let go and uh, trust the universe that this relationship will work out or you'll get something better. But let's see what the outcome says. The outcome, we have 10 of potions. Okay, so a lot of love here. Wow, okay. Or I just didn't mix it up. I don't know, but I'm going to... They are mixed up, but they're in different forms here. A lot of potions is the cups in regular, so you got your queen of candles, too. So if you're a fire sign... All right, so ten of potions. You have the four of potions, the nine of potions the seven of potions, and queen of candles as your outcome. So that's a lot. So let me just put this together for a second. And give me a moment. Just want to look at something too. Let's see. The Four of Potions indicates there's a decision to be made, but remember, you don't have to accept everything you're offered. Listen to your intuition and don't be afraid to decline opportunities that don't feel right. Make sure you know what you're signing up for by carefully reading the fine print, especially when faced with offers that seem too good be to, to be true. And I believe Ten of Potions is just basically having like way too many options. An important relationship, friendship, or family connection is finding its stride. You're both feeling supported, understood, and appreciated. Nurture this connection. Remember to give as much as you take to maintain balance. But see, the Four of Potions comes after that. So even though maybe you had a stride and you were feeling supported and understood, um, right now there's a decision to be made. Maybe things seem too good to be true. Um, with this person, maybe they're, you know, masking something of their imbalance from you. And you also have the nine of potions coming after the four of potions, which says, congrats, your wishes are being granted. Your lucky stars have aligned and things are finally falling into place. It's time to enjoy yourself and appreciate the magic in your life if you only could bottle this feeling. So it actually looks like, you know, in the outcome, this relationship's going to be okay. Um, you're backing off or letting go from it is maybe going to cause them to come back stronger than ever. And you'll find your stride in this relationship. With the uh, Seven of Potions, you have dreaming can be powerful act of manifestation. Let your mind wander a little. What adventures do you want to go on? Where do you want them to take you? Visualize your best life and then put real action behind making those visions a reality. And so let's see, with your Queen of Candle... You have... This representing a clever, confident person, which you probably are, with a strong, independent streak, used to being this. You are used to being the center of attention and popular, probably an inspiring leader who brings out the best in everyone. Uh, bringing optimism into any project will invigorate it with the energy it needs to be successful. So, to me, it seems like you're hanging on by a thread here, and. You probably need to let go, manifest, it's all going to be okay, whatever this is between you guys in your head. Let's take a look at the heart though. Okay, in this person's heart, there's page of potions, there's eight of presents, and six of candles, and the devil. So in their heart, 
something is over. But this could just be for the moment, mind you. This is not the final outcome. This is just right now. Something is changing for sure in this person's heart. Um, and they're feeling right now like the page of potions. And again, what was the page of potions? I think, oh, page of potions was the cup. So they're feeling like the page of cups. They're not even feeling like the king of cups right now. Okay. But the cups could also be a message. So in their heart, they might be holding a message for you, you know, a message of love that they're not showing you. Um, because then you have the eight of presents and the presence was needles was ear potions was the cups candles are obviously fire and presence is the earth so it's like the coins okay so you have eight of presents hmm Okay. So it's like this person's all alone just almost wanting to to me it feels like they want to just jump in this river. Or another thing I'm getting is like kind of like a message in the bottle. Like they have a message in this bottle for you and they want to send it down this river. Another message I'm getting is kind of like this person with the X eyes. I don't know. They just look drunk to me. Um, but they're not even drinking. So like what are they drunk on? Their love for you? Their thoughts and their heart? Their heart's drowning them? I'm not sure. Um, there's a couple things there. But then... Again, there's like this presence holding on by a rope, and it's full. Just like this bottle is full. It's uncapped. I'm sorry, capped, not uncapped. Um, and there's presence here, and these elves are here waiting to catch this sack, but it's not being dropped yet. So it's like this message of love is being held within, and then you have the five of candles in the devil. So, like, where's this message going, right? The five of candles, the flame. Dun, dun, dun. So it's success. It's a victorious card with this five of candles showing all your hard work is paying off. So they're working hard on something at work, I think, in their heart. Their heart's... In work and it's paying off um, showing that they're getting the rewards that they deserve and they have to keep the momentum going by turning this self-confidence boost into motivation for your next project but in their heart like something's changing you know there's they've got their hmm it's so crazy. Their, their heart is here with this message, right? And they're working, and this is full too, and this hasn't even dropped yet. They're, they're working hard. They're doing good. They're victorious in work. It's like something is just going on, I think, with work, honestly, which is coming in between what they want in this relationship, and that's what's really holding them back if, if there is something holding them back. All right, and then with you... You have the five, six, seven of needles and four of needles. So seven and four of needles, a lot of air. So in your head about this for sure. Um, so with this card, it's also represent it's often, sorry, representing sneaky behavior, um, saying that you may need to play your cards close to your chest. So not showing your cards to the person, not telling them that you like them. 
Um, if you're trying to solve a problem, think outside the box. Sometimes the obvious conventional path isn't the one that will take you where you want to go. So if this is a new relationship, I would just say, you know, don't tell them you really like them that much. If they're not, match their actions. If they're not talking too much, if they're not texting you, don't text them. If they text you, then respond, you know, but don't go overboard. Don't be like gushing over them when they're not even showing you half the respect of priority. Um, and then you have the four of needles, which is basically telling you to rest. So whether you're recovering from maybe you were sick recently or you just need to recharge and prepare for the future, it's just time to pause and collect yourself. So definitely be this hang man and just hang back, you know. So I think you're, you're kind of doing the right things in your head and in your heart here. You know it's time to just chill. Keep your cards close to you. Don't show them. Don't overplay them. Don't underplay them. Don't even play them. <laughs> Games are stupid. And then you got a lot of cards for his final outcome. So let's see. Oh, geez. I don't know. Is it over? I see the death card. All right, let's begin. The four of presents. There's cheese wrapped up and the mice are definitely hungry. The Queen of Presents, so you got a lot of earth here, the Nine of Needles, Judgment, it's a lot going on, King of Presents, the Empress, and Death. And Death doesn't necessarily mean death, it just means that something can be over and something new can begin. Not saying the relationship's over, but maybe, you know... It could be changed too. Let's see. Um, I actually want to go straight to the death card because I'm just curious. And it says that you're going through a powerful transition. So what sort, whatever sort of big change is happening in your life right now, embrace it because it will eventually lead to bigger and better things. So obviously this relationship will be going through some changes. And with the four presents the first card for the final outcome of this. Um, now just remember too, this is just a suggestion. This is not carved in concrete or stone about your relationship. You have choices, they have choices, and this is just for fun, you know? So take it for a grain of salt. Don't think this is the end all be all just because they're tarot cards, you know? Um, so this represents happiness and stability at home and at work within your budget. You're on track and setting yourself up for success by building your plans on solid ground. So with the thoughtful get, gifts to those that have helped you get there, say thanks. Like you're giving a gift of cheese to the mice, I guess. And then you have the queen of presents, who is a very giving person. And they're joyful and content with life. The queen of presence is a kind caretaker who has everything she needs. She's stable, prosperous, and living a life of abundance. The queen of presence advises you to stay humble, benevolent, and kind. And then you have the nine of needles. And he looks like he's having fun on his little uh, unicycle there. In his little clown outfit. He kind of reminds me of the little boy in uh, the Adams Family, the one with the striped shirt, um, kind of like a jokester. And let's see, this guy is saying that nightmares, worries, fears. Um, this shows up when you're feeling dread. So muster your courage and face your fears. You might find that the clown within the tearaway face is not as scary in the light of day. So stay humble, stay kind. Be thankful for the presence you receive. Kind of just face your fears about this relationship. Um, hold back your judgment. This is what I get with the judgment card. Two 
Don't be hasty and impulsive. Consider your actions and choices carefully and take time to think things through. Remember that all things have reactions, so be sensible and stay true to your conscience. With the King of Presents, um, I kind of feel like this is your person because he's like a page of cups, but he's like a King of Presents because he's working so hard in his career. Um... I'm saying he, but it could be she too, so vice versa. Uh, the king of presence is the ultimate provider. Through hard work and smart delegation, they're meeting their goals and love to share the wealth with others, so they're very gracious too, just like the queen of presence. So you do have the queen of presence too and the king of presence, and if you notice, you know, you have this worry and this judgment in between them, right? And on the queen side, you have the presence. So, and, and this is closer to the side that we're talking about for your person so I kind of feel like they're thankful for you like you've given them a lot and they know that and they're thankful about that and they're a little bit worried maybe they're feeling like you're judging them and then here you are with the king of presents right and the empress could be you and you feel like this is definitely going through changes with this person um but this worry and this judgment is in between you two. So I feel like if you can get rid of this worry and this judgment in between you guys, the queen of presence and the king of presence, which you both seem to mirror each other, you both are this king and queen, essentially, and be more like this empress closer to this um, king of presence as well. So with the empress, the empress is like all queens, combined basically but let me read this to you so the empress is a call for compassion being patient and kind with yourself and others will get you further than any other approach now is a great time to nurture and indulge your creative impulses and staying grateful will help you keep a healthy and positive outlook so i think you just are what i'm getting from this message is that you need to change your outlook and perspective Realize that your person is just working really hard. Be patient. And this re relationship will change by you just chilling and hanging back and, you know, being this hang, hang man and just manifesting right now, which is perfect to think about clarity of letting go on this full moon. And um, I hate to repeat myself, but just, you know, think about what your intentions will be for the next new moon coming up to manifest what you want this relationship to exactly be. Um, give this person grace because they're obviously just working hard, but they obviously do hold um, something for you. And I think they're just worried too about you judging them. So it doesn't look bad though at all to me. This actually just looks like a lot of maybe misunderstanding like maybe you want them to be with you right now and they just need to work unfortunately um as far as a general reading goes okay if we just laid all the cards out just as is not a love reading So let's say this was a general reading in your with no love. I would say that any kind of struggle that you are feeling right now at work, perhaps that maybe like you're doing all the work, um, to not worry about it because your higher power will be helping you. I just want to check something again. So let's see. Um.
The Hierophant is a teacher, um, a leader who values traditions, rules, and orders, just as much as the mayor of Halloween Town is what this says. And the Hierophant also can be a trusted mentor in your life, um, or in your community, or even a spiritual counselor, somebody you look to for guidance. So it could be your higher power even. And maybe you're feeling just a little bit rebellious right now and dissatisfied. And you feel like turning your back on your faith or turning your back on advice and just going your own way. And this card's basically like saying, that's okay too. You can trust your gut instincts and maybe your own knowledge. Um, with the Ten of Potions, you're going to have options. For sure. Um, in love. And right now, everything might seem up in the air. But there is balance. And I'm just looking at, um, you know, some of these pots here are open. Some of them are closed. They're not all open. And then you have the Four of Potions. Where you're going to have to make a decision, I think, on, you know, these options in your relationship. Um... And just kind of shelve the ones that don't fit you right now. Um, this is a card of success, though. So, I mean, you're going to choose right. You're going to trust your instincts. You might go on um, a little mini vacation, maybe near water. Kind of dreaming of your best life. You're on this wall, but you can see because everything's illuminated and you are this queen of candles person which is a fire element. And cats are very strong. Confident enough to know when to hang on and when to let go to make their wishes come true. Okay. The page of potions uh, goes through life with childlike curiosity and hopeful enthusiasm. So unleash your creativity and charge forward in pursuit of the things that you're passionate about. Sometimes this card represents the beginning of a new relationship or a close friendship. And then with the uh, Eight of Presence, again, you're just going to be working really hard still in your career. Um, 
getting victory as this is the victorious card. So you're going to be very successful in your career. Uh, something will possibly change. So maybe you'll even get, you know, a new promotion. Maybe you will uh, change jobs or careers. With the devil, um, it also kind of warns you to not succumb to being too self-indulgent. So if you are victorious, I would say just watch, you know, any kind of vices um, to rein it in and regain control. So don't gamble with your health and happiness or even your wealth if you are being successful with money in your job. Remember that instant gratification is satisfying in the long term. So uh, come up, you know, with a plan for success for long term. Always keep putting into that 401k or stocks or whatever it is that you do. Uh, being thankful for the little gifts that you are given, the little pieces of cheese. This kind of reminds me of that book of who moved my cheese, right? But nobody's moving their cheese. They're gifting them the cheese. So that is like to me saying, you know, maybe thank the people around you at work, the coworkers um, that have helped you be victorious and successful. Um, you are the queen of presence, so I think you are a very gracious person. Um, and don't worry so much. You might be a type of person that does worry a lot. Um, hold your judgment. Don't be so hasty with it. Don't worry so much. Don't, you know, just don't judge. Um, and then this king of presence comes into your life. So maybe they're somebody that mirrors your likeness of being the queen of presence, right? They're financially stable. Um, <laughs> this empress card just <laughs> makes me laugh. Like when you think of an empress, this isn't what you think of. <laughs> the empress is supposed to be like the most beautiful <laughs> of all the queens because she embodies all of, you know, the queen of cups, the queen of pentacles, the queen of wands, the queen of um, everything. So anyways, um, just as funny to me, uh, the empress here. So be this empress and change is a common for sure, but don't show your cards. Don't talk too much and everything's going to be cool. I mean, this is really good reading for general too, as well as love. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Happy Halloween. I don't really feel a need to do Oracle cards for this reading. Plus, it was so super long with all the cards that came out. Um, it's pretty clear, I think. So I hope you'd enjoyed it. And we'll do an unboxing for this soon. Um, this year has just been so chaotic. And thank you for sticking with me and my channel. Um, I do hope to pick up more often. I know I said that in the beginning of all this COVID stuff, but whoo wee I would need a, a new channel just to go over all the happenings of this year, right? I'm sure you could too. Um, but thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. And as well, um, I will do an unboxing, two separate things for both of these. So if you don't know what this one is, stay tuned, guys. Happy Halloween. Bye-bye.